everyone this is Zay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve x into dy by dx plus y equals to y square x cube into cos x solution given differential equation x into dy by dx plus y equals to y square into x cube into cos x. So here we are having equation term dy by dx is x. So we'll make the equation term dy by dx to 1 by eliminating x. Okay. So how we can eliminate x from this equation or x from the first term simply by multiplying on the both sides of the equation with 1 by x or dividing both sides of the equation with x. So, let's multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x. So, you can write directly dy by dx plus y by x equals to y square x cube into cos x by x. Then you'll get dy by dx plus function of x into y equals to y square into 1 x gets cancelled and you'll get x square into cos x right which is again a function of x right so let's see what happens if we multiply both sides of this equation with 1 by x then we'll get 1 by x times x into dy by dx plus y equals to 1 by x times y square x cube into cos x right then you'll get 1 by x into x dx that is x by x into dy by dx plus y into 1 by x is y by x equals to y square x cube cos x by x right x gets cancelled and you'll get dy by dx plus y by x equals to y square x cube into cos x by x you'll get the same thing which is Bernoulli's is in y okay you can just compare this equation with Bernoulli's equation you're having dy by dx plus function of x into function of y equals to function of x into function of y which is Bernoulli's equation in y and x so again by comparing these two we'll get p and q we know that dy by dx plus py equals to q into y power n is a Bernoulli's equation where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants okay the p and q are either functions of x alone or constants and you're having n in the form of y in rhs part so here n is a real number such that n is not equals to 0 and not equals to 1 again by comparing these two we'll write p and q so we have reduced the given equation to Bernoulli's form where p equals to where p equals to 1 by x and q equals to x square you can just write this as function of x into function of y where q equals to x square into cos x now compare y square with y power and then you'll get n equals to 2 right here n is a real number such that n is not equals to 0 not equals to 1 and also here p and q are functions of x alone since it does not involve any other variable other than x so we call p and q as functions of x alone now what we are going to do we are going to reduce this Bernoulli's equation to linear form so now we'll reduce this equation to linear form if you notice we know that the standard form of linear equation y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants okay but in the RHS part we don't have any other functions other than x or constant right we don't have any function in y here 
right? In linear equation in y, the and that RHS part of this equation, we don't have any functions in y. So what we have to eliminate from Bernoulli's equation in order to reduce this to linear, we have to eliminate y square from RHS. So how we can eliminate y square from RHS part simply by getting this y square to LHS or by multiplying both sides of the equation with 1 by y square or by, by dividing both sides of the equation with y square. So let's see what happens if we bring y square to LHS. Instead of writing directly, I'll show you how we are going to get. Okay, see you can write directly 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into y by y square equals to x square cos x. Okay, you can write directly or you can do like this. 1 by y square times dy by dx plus 1 by x into y equals to x square cos x. Then you'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into y into 1 by y square is y by y square equals to x square cos x. You'll get the same thing, right? Fine. Now, we have eliminated y square that is the function of y from RHS that by equation becomes here 1 by gets cancelled and you'll get 1 by x into 1 by y equals to x square cos x right this is also a function of x so here we have eliminated function of y from RHS now let 1 by y equals to u. The reduced equation is 1 by y square into dy by dx plus 1 by x into 1 by y equals to x square cos x. Now let 1 by y equals to u. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Here we will use chain rule to differentiate on both sides with respect to x. du by dx equals to, that is derivative of u with respect to x equals to du by, this is a function of y, right? So it involves differential dy in between. Now find derivative of u with respect to y since y equals to 1 by y. You can also write this as y inverse. Then differentiate on both sides with respect to y. Then you get du by dy equals to minus 1 into y power minus 1 minus 1, which is equals to minus 1 into y power minus 2, right? Which is minus 1 by y square, since y power minus n equals to reciprocal of y power n. So now we can replace derivative of u with respect to y with minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. Okay. Instead of doing this lengthy process, we can just do directly. Firstly, find derivative of this with respect to y. Then you'll get minus y power minus 2 
into dy by dx derivative of y with respect to x equals to derivative of u with respect to x. From this you will get minus 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. We will get the same thing. Fine. Now coming to the equation. Here you are having positive 1 by y square into dy by dx. So in order to replace the equation in terms of u and x, we will replace the first term. We have to replace the first term in terms of u and x. Okay, Everything will replace in terms of u and x. But here you are having positive 1 by y square into dy by dx. But we got minus 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. So what we will do is we will multiply both sides of the equation with minus. Then we will get 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. Right? So when 1 by y equals to u, then 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. The above equation becomes minus du by dx plus 1 by x into replace 1 by y by u. We will get into u equals to x square cos x. Again, you are having equation of du by dx as minus, minus 1. So, in order to make this 2 plus 1, what we will do is we will multiply both sides of the equation with minus. Then we will get du by dx minus 1 by x into u equals to minus x square into cos x. So we have reduced the Bernoulli's equation to linear form, right? We know that the linear equation in u is du by dx plus p into u equals to q, where p and q are either functions of x along or constants, and integrating factors given by u power integral p dx, and the general solution is given by u into integrating factor equals to q into integrating factor into dx plus c. So by comparing this with the standard form of linear equation in u, we can say that this is linear in u. Now again by comparing this two, we will get p and q where p equals to minus 1 by x and q equals to minus x square cos x. Now we will find the general solution to the given equation by using the general solution of this equation. Simply the general solution of this equation will be the general solution to the given equation. Right? Now find integrating factor of linear equation in U. e power integral p dx is equal to e power integral for p equals to minus 1 by x into dx equals to e power minus integral 1 by x into dx. We know that integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. You can write this as e power log that is minus log x equals to e power log x inverse. We know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x then this equals to function of x reciprocal log x since e power log some function of x equals to function of x. So we got integrating factor 1 by x. Now we can find the general solution. The general solution to the given equation is given by this formula u into integrating factor 
equals to integral q for q equals to minus x square cos x into integrating factor into dx plus c here one x gets cancelled equals to write this minus outside integral you'll get minus integral x cos x into dx plus c you can evaluate this integral using integration by parts formula So here the integrand is of product of polynomial function into trigonometric function. So we can use integrating, sorry, integration by parts formula. It is integral u dv equals to u v minus integral v du. So we'll choose the polynomial function as u and the remaining as dv, right? Let u equals to x and dv equals to forget about the actual u okay dv equals to cos x dx now differentiate this on both sides with respect to x then we'll get d by dx of u equals to d by dx of x from this you'll get du by dx equals to derivative of x with respect to x is 1. From this we will get du equals to dx. 1 into dx is dx. Now, integrate to find v. We will get v equals to integral cos x dx is sin x. So now, we can apply integration by parts formula u into v. u into v minus integral v for v equals to sin x into du for du equals to dx. We will get x sin x minus integral sin x dx is minus cos x which is equals to x sin x minus into minus plus cos x. Right? Since integral x cos x dx equals to x sin x plus cos x, you can just replace integral x cos x into dx by this. Then you'll get minus of x sin x plus cos x plus integral constant c. Then u into 1 by x equals to minus x sin x minus into plus minus cos x. Let's see now replace u by 1 by y. You'll get 1 by y into 1 by x equals to minus x sin x minus cos x. Let's see this is minus, okay? Then 1 by x y equals to minus x sin x minus cos x plus c is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from Banal is the equation in this video. We will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.